like you, I too have been in an awkward situation when somebody has asked me, who is the father of modern chemistry? Who came up with the periodic table? And no, not the answer. Well, look no further, for I am about to tell you all the wonders that is Antoine Lavoyer. Lavoisier. Lavoisier? I don't know how to say it. Just checked, it's Antoine Lavoisier. On August 26th, 1743, Antoine was born. Where? Well, perhaps this little Eiffel Tower would give you a hint. <laughs> it was Paris. That's where he was born. Antoine is prominent in the histories of both chemistry and biology. Actually, the original periodic table is only one of his major contributions to the science world. In fact, it's not even what he is most known for. He named both oxygen and hydrogen, as well as predicting silicone. He also established sulfur as an element rather than a compound, and helped construct the metric system. And of course, he put together the first extensive list of elements, which later evolved into what we now know as the periodic table. He stated the first version of the law of conservation of mass. He showed nature is a closed system in which, although matter can change its state in a chemical reaction, the quantity of matter is the same at the end as the very beginning of every chemical change. In other words, he proved that matter cannot be created or destroyed. What else did he do to make him so popular in the chemistry world? Well, Grace, he established the consistent use of the chemical balance, he disproved and proved many a theories, and he wrote what is considered to be the first modern chemical textbook. It contained a list of elements, or substances, that could not be broken down further, and it also forms the basis for the modern list of elements. His giving new names to substances most of which are still used today, was an important means of forwarding the chemical revolution, because these terms expressed the theory behind them. In the case of oxygen, from the Greek meaning acid former, he expressed his theory that oxygen was the acidifying principle. A political and social liberal, he took an active part in the events leading to the French Revolution. In its early years, he drew up plans and reports advocating many reforms, including the establishment of the metric system of weights and measures. Unfortunately, he had such a strong voice in the French Revolution that despite his immense services to science and France, he was guillotined in 1794. Off with your head. A noted mathematician remarked of the event, it took them only an instant to cut off that head, and a hundred years may not produce another like it. So friends, there you have it. Antoine was the father of modern chemistry, and he changed the science from a qualitative one to a quantitative one. And with that, along with all of his other accomplishments, we must thank him. The International Historic Chemical Landmarks Program certainly did, for he received the award in 1999 from the American Chemical Society, Académie des Sciences de l'Institut de France, and the Société Chimique de France. In conclusion, his contributions are considered the most important in advancing chemistry to the level reached in physics and mathematics during the 18th century. <laughs> what a guy!